We're at Haven Ministries today. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to talk to Chris. We're going to hear about the food bank and talk to her about the resource center. And we're going to have a little bit of fun creating our own meals. Check it out. So we're inside the resource center in the food pantry. Chris, tell us what's going on inside our building. Well, here anybody can come in from Queen Anne's County to get food. So they just come in, register, and we give them a little cart, some bags, and they're good to go to get all the food that they want for a whole month. We have a little bit of everything. We have a lot of chicken, canned food, tuna fish. We have plenty of macaroni and cheese. We have spaghetti. We have spaghetti sauce. We have corn. We have all kinds of vegetables. You name it, we have a little bit of everything. We're really grateful for that. And we have frozen food, too. So tell us, where does this food come from? The food comes primarily from the Maryland Food Bank, and then we're very lucky to have so many of our people in the community um, donate so many, so many items from that we don't usually get from the Maryland Food Bank. So we get a lot of toiletries, soap, products, detergent, those kind of things that we don't usually get. So we have so many people donating. Individuals donate, organizations donate. We have food drives from different communities. So we really get a lot of items from, from different sources in the community, and we're very grateful for that. Yeah. So let's talk about the rest of the building, because there's some space in the back. Can you tell us about that? Yes, that's our resource center. We ha This is called our headquarters. And so together we have now put our resource center and our food pantry together so that it's a one-stop shopping, So which is really great. And the resource center really is a... A great place for people to come. They can look for jobs on our job board. We can give them a computer to use in case they want to register or sign up for a job. And then we also have our case manager, Mary Jeter, who does all the financial end of things for people who may have problems paying a bill. So maybe an electric bill or rent or something like that. And so they can come and talk to Mary about that sort of resource. Great. Now that we have everyone interested, where can people come? Where are we located today? We're located in Queenstown at 206 Del Rhodes Avenue, and we're open on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from 8.30 to 4.30, and then on Tuesday we're open from 7 to 7, so people can actually come in before work or after work. And then on the second Saturday of the month, we're open on from 9 to 12. <laughs> now, I want to have a little game today. Okay. I thought we'd let you judge. So oh, we well. have Chris behind the camera, and we have our new intern, Marshall, and we were actually going to see who could find the best meal by just shopping here today. And we're going to let you judge. Oh, what do you think? Oh, I'm, I'm excited about that. I think that's going to be a wonderful um, experience for you both to see all the food that you can pick from. Well, here we go. It's the Food Pantry Challenge. We get to run around, find whatever items we want, but they have to fit in our hands. I was ready 20 minutes ago. Let's go. <laughs> Bartlett pears. Rookie mistake, they didn't go for the frozen meat. You can get bison here. <laughs> mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Ted, Ted, Ted. They got donuts here. Hmm. Marsha, how you looking? Marsha, how you looking? Got lots of soups. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to make. I'm running out of hands. I'm having a hard time completing the. Uh grand scheme I had in my head. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we eating good tonight. Yeah. You so Chris, why don't you come in over here? So you can find everything here, but the creme de la creme is I'm going to make some bison burgers. Yes, we do. So I have bison burgers, and of course I have rolls to put the bison burgers on. Now I'm actually going to go double with this peach. I'm going to drain the peach juice and make peach bison burgers. <laughs> and then of course, you know, we have some dessert. And of course we want to eat healthy, so we got vegetables. Very and, and of course I'm going to be thirsty, so I got me a juice box. <laughs> what do you think? How'd I do? Ah, uh, I don't good know. Good very, very good. It's looking real good. Wait, let's see what Marshall has. Okay. I got a lot of soup and pasta. Very easy <laughs> meals. <laughs> I'm a he, college student. He's a college student. <laughs> Could you tell? That's an intelligent choice. You know, it's well balanced and, you know, I think that that's a really, and it's easy to make. That, that's, a, that's a real winner too. Yeah, I think you did pretty good. All right, Chris. Okay, so what I was going for, <laughs> I'm going to take this wonderful bread loaf here, which is a nice sizable thing, and I was going to hollow out the inside, and I was going to do a nice fruit salad using choice Bartlett pears. Bartlett pears. Um, some raisins to top it off with. <laughs> so what? You, inside here with a nice little fruit salad, then you can actually eat it, and if you want, you can do almost like a crab dip. Okay, okay. Well, those are our three meals. <laughs> They're very good. Very imaginative. 
which is good because you know we're always thinking about the best thing to eat when we're here so um but i'm gonna have to go with my friend here i think that he did an excellent <laughs> And excellent <laughs> for his, you know, for a college student. And we want to really make sure that they're eating healthy. So I, I have to choose a friend here. Come on down to the food pantry. <laughs> Find everything you can want, including soups and noodles. <laughs> I'm just happy it wasn't him that won. <laughs> Good job, Marshall. So we had a lot of fun today. Oh, it was great. <laughs> but I can't leave here because we made a mess. You need help to help clean this stuff up. So you have volunteers, right? Yes, we have about 60 volunteers that come in. once, a, And we have two shifts uh, every day, 8.30 to 12.30, and then 12.30 to 4.30. And then on um, Tuesday nights, we actually have people from 4.30 to 7.30. And they really, really help us. They mark the food. Um, when we get donations in, we have a date that we have to put on the cans, and then we put everything away. And they always tidy up. They vacuum. They help clean up the place. It's really awesome to have them and of course they check in all our clients and really we couldn't really operate without our volunteers so if you're interested in volunteering you can always give me a call at the headquarters here it's 410-827-7194